Instructions for building the 4x4x4 light cube shield kit for Arduino from Link Sprite. Note the internet link for Link Sprite's wiki that will give you an overview of the kit and its construction. You will need basic soldering skill, your own solder, soldering iron, pliers, and an Arduino. You will also need several hours to assemble. Take the Link Sprite board with the printing up, this is actually the bottom, and install the header pins soldering them to the opposite side of the board. Flipping the board over, fit the pin sockets into the top and solder each end from the bottom. Once completed, it will align with the sockets on the Arduino. Now we prepare the LEDs. All of the LEDs in this project will require that the anode be bent downward as shown. The back rows will require additional bends in the cathode as you will see later in this video. Use the shield to help align the LEDs by plugging the anodes into the sockets. Solder the cathodes together as shown, putting three LEDs together at a time. Once you've completed three, I move the triplet to the back row and assemble the next row. Remember the cathodes and anodes of the LEDs should never touch on any layer or between layers. The concept is that all cathodes for each layer are connected and the anodes are attached between layers to create a column. Now we need to add bends to the cathodes of four LEDs for the back row. Bend the cathode as shown so that it can be attached to the other cathodes on the same layer. Here is the first layer with the back corner LED installed. For the opposite back corner, bend the cathode lead in the opposite direction and solder to the other cathodes in that same layer. Here's what the completed back row looks like. I did not snip the LED leads off the back as I wanted to use them later. Removing the entire layer from the shield, it looks like this. Only cathodes are soldered at this stage. I bent all 16 LEDs for a layer and made them ready for assembly. Repeat the entire assembly for the other three layers. Laying the cube on its side, I measured the spacing for the layers so that the LEDs would be spaced the same height as the width set by the plugs in the shield. First, solder each corner anode to anode, then carefully solder all the remaining anodes to their corresponding anode to connect the first layer to the second. Repeat this assembly process for layers three and four. Now we have to connect each layer's cathodes to the shield as shown. Solder a wire to each of the four remaining holes in the shield to a corresponding layer on the cube as shown. I've colorized the wires for clarity, but I used white wire to simplify the look of the final cube. Here's the completed cube. Finally, connect the Arduino to your computer and upload the simple code found on the Link Sprite page. I've put the link below. Note that the simple code only activates pins 16 and 17. You need to modify the code to include the other two layers of the cube that are attached to pins 18 and 19.